What's up again, everybody? This is Jose Gagnon, the super random guy, here again today. And like I said, we're going to be doing the very last two episodes of the Thomas the Train Season 5 commentaries. And both of them are both Halloween episodes. So I hope you're going to enjoy this so very much. We're going to get the things rolling right away. So get the greatness, have the amazing happy times. Let's keep the things rolling, everybody. Yeah, yeah. And let's finish up the very last two episodes of season five. Whoa, yeah, man. You know how it goes here, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and by the way, the name of this episode is called Rusty and the Boulder. So this is the first one we're doing. It had stood oh, bananas. ...alone for a long time. But one day, workmen arrived to build a quarry on the land below. Rusty, the little diesel, met Thomas and Percy. Where's all this rock coming from, Percy asked. The new quarry, replied Rusty. This mountain rock is good for many things, although it's dangerous up there. Why, asked Thomas, because of a big boulder. I think it's watching me, said Rusty nervously. How can it be? Boulders don't have eyes. Well, Percy, there's something strange about this one. Just then, Edward arrived. He was delivering a new piece of machinery for the quarry. What's that, asked Rusty. It's called Bumper. Apparently, it helps collect the rock faster, replied Edward. And this is basically another another new character that got introduced in the show, Thumper, one of the machines. He doesn't actually talk at all, so they just basically just introduced him without having him say any words, just like Bertram. But uh, he only appears in this episode, and then and then they just they don't talk about him ever again, just like a bunch of other characters that got introduced in this show. They just introduce them into one single episode and then they never talk about them ever again. They just get rid of them right away. It's kind of crazy bananas. Soon Thumper was working hard. The men were pleased, but no one bothered to check the boulder. When it rained, the workmen went away. Rusty gazed up and shivered. Above stood Boulder. Suddenly, a large slab of rock landed on the rails. Rusty was shocked. The driver was concerned. We'd best leave till the weather's better. The rain loosened some of this rock. I think it's Boulder wanting us to go away. The next day, the sun shone. Thumper was working harder than ever. Suddenly, Rusty noticed something. Boulder's moving. Don't be so daft. It can't, said the driver. But it could. It's rolling along our line. It's crazy how, you know, they showed that the boulder was having eyes and then it ended up, you know, just falling off of the mountainside by itself and it's just you know it's just rolling along the tracks now cha you know chasing after rusty and it's going to be causing so much crazy damage so you know a haunted boulder like you know <laughs> it's crazy bananas you know to see how they have a haunted boulder on here and it's just like you know causing so much damage to the railway well not really all of the railway but just like this little Quar the little quarry area that they're all hanging around in. The crazy haunted boulder is just going to destroy so much craziness. And <laughs> Oh man, this show is crazy bananas sometimes, man. Super crazy bananas. We'll stop here until Boulder passes by, said the driver. But the boulder was nowhere to be seen. Then, oh no, it's behind us. 
Just ahead, they saw a small junction. One line went uphill. Boulder thundered past. Meanwhile, Scarlowy was making his way up to the quarry. Then he saw Boulder. Help! Boulder was catching up fast. We must warn the yards, shouted Scarlowy. Yes, but how? called Rusty. Boulder rounded a bend, and there, ahead, was Reneus. It's running loose, yelled Reneus. His driver drove him back as fast as he could. Hurry! Better a smash than a squash, sighed his driver. At the yards, Percy was collecting trucks. Then he heard Boulder. Oh no, heading straight for me, squeaked Percy. That was basically just one of the most super craziest things that, that's ever ha happened in the show. You know, that crazy boulder just like, you know, just destroyed those sheds. And then they just like, exploded and the fire, you know, like the fire came out and it, it, the explosion, it came out of nowhere. It's a super duper crazy moment in the show, man. I guess they, they just wanted to make this season as over the top as possible. So that's why they ended up making that big explosion when the boulder crashed into the sheds and destroyed the sheds. Super craziness. When Sir Topham Hatt, inspecting the damage, decided to close the mine, then he looked at Boulder. We should have left this part of the island alone. They moved Boulder to a hill close by the yards. Rusty is sure that on a clear night, mm. it is gazing up at the mountain and that its sides are being carried on the wind to where it once used to stand, proud and silent. I wonder if Rusty is right. Don't you? So that was episode 25, Rusty and the Boulder. And now we'll be moving on to the next Halloween episode, which is called Duncan Gets Spooked. Hope you're, enjo hope you're all going to enjoy these very last two episodes of the season five commentaries. And basically next week I'll be... You know, starting off doing doing the very first two episodes of Season 6. So basically, right after Season 6, I'm just going to be stopping at Season 7 of the show. Because, you know, the, the show has 24 seasons, but I don't feel like covering, you know, all 24. I'm just going to be stopping at Season 7. And that's, you know, how we're going to be ending off this review series is just stopping at Season 7. So get ready for the next video coming up right now super soon. Hope you're all going to enjoy these very last two episodes. And look forward to the amazingness of season six. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, man. You know how it goes here, everybody, on this crazy channel. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, man. Keep it rolling, everybody. Every single day. And enjoy yourselves you know, whenever the chance you get to. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, man.